Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking metals and gold prices. A huge week for gold, big rally. Uh, about a week ago, we were talking about the potential for getting to 13.25 and maybe testing up, getting trading above it and holding there for a while while we wait to see what happens in Washington and with the Fed and with the dollar. And lo and behold, things moved very quickly. And over the past week, we were able to get gold prices not to 13.25 to 13, all the way up to 13, north of 13.60. Uh, you know, a little bit of a pullback on Friday, but it seemed to me that the, we've, we've now entered a new bullish phase of gold pricing. Uh, a lot of what we saw this week, um, you know, came on the heels of some very strong inflation data, some mixed, uh, some mixed data out of uh, not only out of Washington with talking about uh, Treasury supply and deficits, but gold seemed to really have um, a straight shot higher, which really is propelling uh, the trend back into the bull's court. Uh, not too long ago, we were talking about the gold sell-off, and that really took a lot of the luster out of the, the bulls and kind of put us into a neutral territory. I won't say we ever got bearish, but we were very neutral, nearing bearish, and now we're right back where we started. So gold in a very bullish momentum trend as we head into the weekend. Now, the dollar... Boy, the dollar. Uh, on the recent stock sell-off, when we saw stocks go down 12%, the dollar caught its first bid in a long time and was able to sustain it for a few days. And as soon as stocks got their legs back under it and rallied back higher, the dollar got crushed. And I think that's one of the things that did help gold uh, maintain this bid. Not only it wasn't the reason why gold went higher, but it was certainly a reason why it didn't go lower. And you know, the dollar just resuming that trend, which you got to go all the way back to the end of 2016, has just been just a devastatingly weak trade uh, for any dollar bull out there uh, who has just not been rewarded. Given the, the strength we're seeing in Europe and in and Japan, it's taking a lot of the luster away from the dollar. Likewise, a lot of the, what's happening in Washington with the fiscal issues and the supply and the Fed not knowing what, how many times they may raise rates this year. All that adds up to a weaker dollar and it is helping gold prices. And lastly, let's look at the positioning, because if you look at what's happened in positioning, we saw speculators get in long with both feet. They rode the, the market. On the, on the last trade up to 1360. And then on the big sell off, they all got out. Not all, but they got out. Over the last three weeks, we've been seeing a significant amount of exits. And I think that this, this last gold rush that we saw from 1325 up to 1360 is those longs getting back in. And we'll, we won't know that until next week when we get the CFTC numbers. But my sense is that the spec longs uh, didn't want to miss the move. And once we got above a certain level, whether it was 1325, 1330, they came back in with both feet. So I'm, I'm suggesting that gold speculators were a lot of the reason why we saw the market rally. So gold, uh, once it got north of 1350, I think we're and was able to hold there. That's the reason why I think we're in this bullish momentum. I think it's going to hold the only thing out there that can really block this 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 turn would be FOMC minutes, and we get those next week from the January meeting. So it all depends on how gold uh, perceives the the whether the, the Fed is going to be more hawkish or remain sort of dovish the way they have been over the last year or so. Uh, that could be one adverse effect to the recent rally in gold. However, I think gold is going to look a little bit further down the road and not just look at each day and each rate hike, but more how many times can the Fed raise rates if, for say, inflation is going up but growth is going down, and with a new Fed chair. How will that all be uh, absorbed by the market? So gold back in the bull's corner as we head into the weekend for President's Day weekend. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.